The Engineer Research Development Center is the R&D arm of the Army Corps of Engineers. So it was founded actually as its predecessor, the Waterways Experiment Station in 1929 after the Great Flood of the Mississippi River. And the organization has evolved throughout history to address all of the major challenges that our nation has faced on infrastructure, on security, on energy, all of the big challenges, both military and, and civil. The Erdic campus here in Vicksburg, Mississippi has four of our laboratories in our headquarters. And we have laboratories here in Vicksburg, Mississippi, the Geotechnical and Structures Laboratory, the Coastal and Hydraulics Laboratory, the Environmental Laboratory, and the Information Technology Laboratory. We also have in Champaign, Illinois, our Construction Engineering Research Laboratory. In Hanover, New Hampshire, our Cold Regions Research and Engineering Laboratory, the only Cold Regions focused laboratory in the government and then the Geospatial Research Laboratory uh, located in the DC area. And so within each of those, there are extremely unique facilities. We have the world's most powerful centrifuge to do physical modeling studies, the world's largest heavy vehicle simulator, the world's largest blast load simulator, the largest supercomputing research center in the Department of Defense is located here in the Erdic. My research group focuses broadly on ice material science. This means we think about ice both as an adversary, but also as a resource. As an adversary, we're working on the issue of ice adhesion and taking on the data analysis and analytical frameworks necessary to quantify ice adhesion. In the area of ice as a resource, we're looking at uh, studying the material properties of ice, specifically thermal, mechanical, optical, looking at can we modify these to make ice a st stronger and more melt resistant material for building in the Arctic. My group here at Erdic, we, what we do is we research, it's called the Sustainable Water Infrastructure and Materials Research Team. So what we're looking at is clean water, and that can mean different things. Typically what we're doing is we're doing state-of-the-art science and engineering to provide either clean water, remove contaminants from water, or extract resources from water. One of the interesting projects we're working on right now is recovery of rare earth elements that are critical supply chain materials and advanced electronics. We're also looking at, okay, if we don't have the infrastructure in place, so how can we do things with less energy? Uh, whether you're in space or whether you know, you're somewhere that's in an arid desert environment, water is gonna be scarce. How do, we, how do we ensure that you're gonna have access to the water supply you need? So the focus area of the group I lead here at the Engineer Research and Development Center is focused on advanced manufacturing techniques or additive manufacturing techniques, creating things through additive that you couldn't create otherwise that have interesting material properties. So things like extremely high hardnesses or things that may be functionally graded and uh, deform in particular d design manners. So a lot of material by design type work. One of the cool things about Erdic is uh, we don't a lot of times deal with little small things. Our, our mission hats are either civil works infrastructure, which is very large components, or even on the military engineering side, a lot of those applications are very large in nature. So pushing the envelope of what can be done with large scale additive. The focus area of my group is uh, to synthesize uh, noble and affordable 2D uh, material systems, including graphene related materials and determine their uh, structure, property, processing relationships and optimize those to be able to obtain the best performing materials. From uh, concrete hydration modeling to advanced composites to uh, modular protective systems and 2D material systems including graphene related material. The focus area of my group at ERDC is on polymer and polymer composites. We do a lot of work on understanding how these polymers can uh, deform and come apart. We do a lot of controlled chemistries to where we can tailor how the networks are formed. We do a lot of work in the area of stimuli responsive polymers where we can modulate the pH, the temperature, or expose the polymers to different applied magnetic fields. We also are interested with how these materials, once they fail, can we control the ways they fail? Can we tailor in different connection points? Our group uses computational tools to model um, the energy dissipation in materials under really high rate and high temperature events, such as uh, blast and uh, ballistic penetration. Uh, and the goal is um, to understand at a fundamental level what those energy dissipation mechanisms are, and then to use what we've learned in like materials by design approach 
So in that, we would create a digital twin of a particular material, and then we can simulate on that material and swap out uh, components or maybe functional groups um, in a kind of a machine learning or optimization type framework. Here at the Erdic, we are largely focused on trying to advance science as an integrator. So we want to bring in multiple advancements from different industries, from different parts of the engineering and scientific community, and see how we can bring those technologies to bear to address the grand challenges that we have within our portfolio. So whether it's synthetic biology, it's data science and artificial intelligence, it's advanced manufacturing, all of these new types of innovations, as they scale up, as they become more cost effective and at a higher level of readiness, how can we integrate those into our mission and into engineered systems that will help us solve the nation's problems. Thank you.